Tonight, the backlog of rape kit testing in Shelby County finally seeing improvement. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pepper Baker. One survivor's courage to openly discuss her case, bringing attention to the turnaround time for results that new data shows has reduced significantly. Our Kevin McNamara is breaking down the numbers. And Kevin, how fast is the state processing test results now? Yeah, that's right, Pepper. At the end of 2022, the average turnaround time of a rape kit in Shelby County was almost 44 weeks. That's nearly a full year. But as of March of this year, 2024, now that processing period is all the way down to less than 12 weeks. Rapists are roaming around freely all over the city. Uh, that's that's a given. Deborah Club is the executive director of the Memphis Area Women's Council. She says the mental anguish a rape kit going untested can cause is enormous. It's completely devastating. It's completely shattering. Um, and I have certainly known women here who experience that very thing. Thankfully, she hasn't been alone in her push for change. State Senator Brent Taylor credits the improvement in processing times for rape kits by months to the amount of money the state has poured into the issue including hiring close to 50 new scientists. That is a huge improvement, and I, I think there's still a little more work to do. I believe we could get that turnaround time down a little bit more uh, because it's important that we're able to turn around those sexual assault kits uh, as quickly as we can. The issue of delays in processing times in the Mid-South has come under the microscope in recent years. The city of Memphis is currently in a class action lawsuit over thousands of rape kits that went completely untested. Progress has been made. It is not enough. And I think the state and the city will agree with that, that there still needs to be more progress. There, must, there needs to be a much shorter turnaround time than 13 weeks. But it beats a year or two or never. One major change advocates want that could get that processing time down even more significantly is building a new crime lab in Shelby County. That's because currently all of those kits must be taken to Jackson to be processed. Pepper, back to you.